Some people are lucky, and some aren't. That's just how the way it is, sadly. But the sheer luck of these people today is nothing short of miraculous. Especially number one when you consider all his near brushes with death. Find out just who he is as we bring you the 10 luckiest people in the world. Number 10. Terry Priest. Who doesn't love oysters? Oysters are a beloved fine dining food, highly sought after in restaurants and by cooks at home for their flavor, texture, and, well, sometimes even price. In most parts of the world, they are even thought by some to be an aphrodisiac, and for that reason alone, they are eaten in droves. But if you're Terry Priest, you'll find another perfectly good reason to love them and eat them every chance you get. You see, she was lucky enough to find an actual pearl in her oyster. It's not like Pries, who hails from England, if you were wondering, bought highly expensive gourmet oysters. Oh no, she bought her bags of oysters from Tesco for 49 pence. Yet she still somehow managed to beat the million to one odds to find one of the pale treasures inside. As for the real value of the pearl, we're actually not quite sure. However, she has since turned that 49 pence pearl into a ring that's worth around 500 pounds. Number 9. Lena Paulson. In 1995, Swedish woman Lena Paulson removed her wedding ring, setting it aside to do some Christmas baking. When she was done, she went to retrieve her cherished ring, only to find it was gone. After literal years of searching, she and her husband sadly came to the conclusion that the ring was lost forever. That is, until 2012, nearly 16 years later, when Lena found it again in the most unexpected of places. While harvesting carrots, Paulson was shocked to find her long-lost ring around one of the carrots, an event so amazing it caused her to let out a scream that her daughter, who could hear all the way inside the house, thought that something bad had happened to her. Apparently, this was the first time they'd planted carrots by simply throwing out the seeds at random across the garden, instead of in rows like they've done before. The chance that one of the seeds had landed inside the ring is like winning some sort of mini bottle ring toss contest at the carnival. But Lena couldn't care less about the astronomical odds of how she got back her ring. She's just glad to have it back at all. Number 8. Bill Morgan. This next guy on our list may look like he's not really lucky at first, as he was involved in a terrible accident. But what happened to him afterwards is extremely amazing. When his car collided with a truck and he was crushed under the impact, everyone thought it was the end of the line for Australian Bill Morgan. Even the doctors gave up on him. He was actually declared legally dead for more than 14 minutes, yet he was somehow revived and managed to survive after only 12 days in a coma, even after family removed life support. If that wasn't lucky enough, he then bought a scratch a car to celebrate his recovery, and promptly won a car worth 17,000 Australian dollars. When the local news station heard about him and all his good fortune, they were so impressed that they did a segment about him on the show. They asked him to reenact the scene by scratching off another card only for him to win a whopping further $250,000 again during the live show. Number 7. Sutomo Yamaguchi. During World War II, Sutomo Yamaguchi was an employee at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and his job required him to travel all over the country. He was on a business trip in Hiroshima one day in 1945, the very same day the atomic bomb was dropped onto the city. Miraculously, though injured, he survived the blast. Afterward, he quickly returned to his family and home in Nagasaki. Like the model employee that he is, he came to report to work the very next day after the bombing. Unfortunately, while at work, the second bomb was dropped. And yet, he still survived. Throughout the rest of his life, Yamaguchi became a vocal protester against nuclear weapons and technology. In 2009, Japan officially recognized Yamaguchi as a survivor of both atomic bombs dropped on Japan, making him the only person in the world officially recognized to have survived two nuclear bomb explosions. Mr. Yamaguchi lived a long life until the age of 93, and peacefully passed away of natural causes on January 4, 2010. Number 6. Joan Ginther. Did you know that you'd be more likely to get hit by a meteorite than win the US lottery? That is, if you're not as lucky as Joan Ginther. Ginther actually made headlines around the world because she won four separate multi-million dollar prizes. In 1993, she won a Texas lottery worth 5.4 million. In 2006, Ginther won 2 million playing Holiday Millionaire. In 2008, she won 3 million playing a game called Millions and Millions. Then in the year 2010, she won 10 million on a game called Extreme Payoff. She's won so many times, people actually think that she knows a method on how to increase one's chances at winning the lottery. She was, after all, a mathematician. 
After her first win, Ginther became known in her small town of Bishop, Texas for purchasing large numbers of scratch-off tickets. In fact, she sometimes went so far as to buy all the tickets of a particular game sold at her local convenience store. So what do you think? Did she find a way to beat the system, or is she just extremely lucky? I'm going with kind of a little bit of both. Number 5. Nichiren. If you are a fan of the anime One Piece, you'll be familiar with this next story. Even though I'm quite sure that this is the first time you've heard of this man, I'm pretty sure you'll find the similarities in their stories quite uncanny. You see, during the show's first season, One Piece's main hero, Monkey D. Luffy, narrowly escaped execution via beheading when his executioner was struck by lightning. The premise is too good to happen in real life? Well, it actually did to a man named Nichiren. During the 12th century, Nichiren was a prominent Japanese monk who significantly influenced the Japanese adaptation of Buddhism. However, his life was one of controversy and turmoil. He was sentenced to death by beheading, and the authorities felt his writings were subversive and would undermine their power if it was allowed to spread. However, with a literal stroke of good luck, Nichiren managed to escape his doom when the executioner was struck and killed by lightning when he raised his sword to kill Nichiren. Nichiren was later released due to the strange circumstances, though he was still exiled and would later live the rest of his life out until old age. Number 4. Martin De Jong. Martin De Jong is so lucky, his luck didn't only save his life once, but twice. This 29-year-old is a Dutch cyclist competing for Malaysia's Tarangu cycling team. Because of this, he gets to travel around the world to compete in cycling competitions in different countries. That basically just means he rides airplanes a lot. Technically speaking, air travel is actually safer than traveling by car, but accidents do sometimes happen. A couple of examples would be the unfortunate flight MH17, which was shot down in the Ukraine, and flight MH370, the Malaysia jet, which vanished on 8th of March and which remains missing somewhere in the Indian Ocean. Amazingly, Martin was booked to be on both flights, but somehow managed to avoid them. He was hours away from booking the first flight when he decided to swap flights when he found something cheaper. The same thing happened with flight MH370, but this time he opted to get on an earlier flight. He was so close to boarding this doomed flight, he was actually just waiting to board the plane when an earlier flight opened up. Number 3. Edwin E. Robinson The odds of getting hit by lightning is 1 in 12,000, so if you get hit by one, you can consider yourself pretty unlucky. But if you're a certain Edwin E. Robinson, the lightning bolt that hit him was a godsend. Robinson was wandering around outside in the field near his house, swinging around his aluminum cane and then taking shelter under the only tree when it began to rain. This was when he was struck by the lightning, which floored him. For 20 minutes, he lay unconscious before waking up and stumbling back to his house, going to bed for a very well-deserved nap. Okay, so he was struck by lightning and survived. That already makes him extremely lucky. But what you probably don't know is that Robinson was blind and deaf and has been that way since he was involved in an accident in 1971. When he woke up that evening after he was struck by lightning, he found that he could see and hear again, something that still baffles medical practitioners to this very day. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which shows us a man about to fall out the window of a building. Luckily, people were there to pull him back in. It seems that the photographer was at the right place at the right time to catch this amazing photo. Either that or it was all staged. So is it real or staged? Let's find out next with number two. Beway. The one you're seeing hanging precariously outside the building window is a man called Li Wei, and no, his life is in no danger. You see, he is an artist and his works often depict him in apparently gravity-defying situations. His work is a mixture of performance art and photography that creates illusions of a sometimes dangerous reality. Li Wei states that these images are not computer montages and works with the help of props such as a mirror, metal wires, scaffolding, and acrobatics. But exactly how much of his art is acrobatics and how much is staged, he actually wouldn't say. But he definitely assures people that he was never in any danger while making these gravity-defying works of art. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Frayn Salak. Frayn Salak is the undisputed luckiest man on Earth, but at the same time he can also be considered the unluckiest man on Earth. 
You see, Frank cheated death seven times, but that also mean his life was in peril seven times as well. His first brush with death was in 1962 while traveling in a train in January. The train flipped off the tracks and fell into a freezing river. He was rescued with only a broken arm and mild hypothermia. Then only a year later in 1963, during his first and last plane ride, the plane lost altitude and plummeted to the earth. Brain was blown out of a malfunctioning plane door and somehow managed to land on a haystack, unharmed. If we list all of Frank's brushes with death here, we'll be here for hours. Let me just tell you that he survived a bus falling into a river, accidentally shooting himself, fiery car accidents, and being hit by a bus. But it's not all that bad luck for Frank, because on his 73rd birthday, he won 1.1 million from the Croatian National Lottery. So he's got that going for him. Do you know of any other extremely lucky people? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing people? Check out any of the videos on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.